Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about possession of drug paraphernalia in Arizona. According to Arizona Revised Statute 13-3415, uh, possession of drug paraphernalia is, occurs when a person intentionally possesses drug paraphernalia to consume, manufacture, grow, harvest, or package marijuana. Now, or other types of drugs. Now, normally this is pipes, bongs, baggies, pill bottles, needles, things of that nature. Punishment, if you have no prior felonies, this is a class six felony, which can, you can get anywhere from probation up to two years in prison. Now, probation means the judge can say, I'm gonna give you probation, remain law abiding, don't use any drugs, report to your probation officer. But as a condition of probation, I'm also gonna give you jail, anywhere from zero days in jail up to one year in jail. Now, there's certain defenses. One of them is the medical marijuana card. Go to our site, dmcantor.com, because it's very detailed, and we'll explain exactly how that works with the medical marijuana card, because obviously you need something to carry your legal marijuana in. Um, other, other defenses are lack of knowledge, meaning you didn't know the marijuana was in a car or in a backpack or in a house. Uh, illegal search, lack of consent to the search, um, coerced consent to a search, or bad search warrant. Those are all good defenses. Common defenses are lack of Miranda rights being read, coerced statements, you ask for a lawyer and they won't give you one, that's denial of right to counsel. Uh, fingerprint analysis is flawed because we're going to look for prints on the paraphernalia. Uh, sloppy police reporting, these are all good defenses. Now you're going to hear about what's called Prop 200 and TASK. TASK is a diversion dismissal class where you can be placed on probation, do classes, take UAs, and eventually the case will be dismissed. Uh, Prop 200, what this refers to is on a first offense, they can't give you prison or jail. However, they can give you probation, and if you violate, they'll take you right into custody, hold you as non-bondable, even if you have a million dollars in your pocket, and they'll hold you for four to six weeks, then you get released, and then if you violate again, they keep bouncing you back and forth. So you really wanna fight these charges. Get them down to misdemeanors or get rid of them altogether. So, if you or a loved one were charged with possession of drug paraphernalia in Arizona, give us a call. We know what we're doing. We have multiple certified criminal law specialists, and we'd love to help you out with a free initial consultation. Take care.